Hi Pisces, thanks for showing up to watch your January 2018 love reading. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, I would pay closest attention to my moon sign. There's a link in the description box below to um, some website that I'll tell you that if you don't already know. This is also for you if you're spying on a Pisces. So I am really excited to do this video for you. Um, since the new year hit, I've been waking up every morning with um, Ed Sheeran songs in my head. Not the breakup ones, but the love ones. So this reading is going to be a little bit longer than typical. Um, doing kind of a different spread, but we'll just go ahead and get started. So what is it that Pisces wants in love in January? Oh, this is kind of interesting and not at all what I expected. Um, what you want is kind of to be cautious in love. You are you want to not just necessarily let love come flying in in case it's the shitty kind. Um, you're kind of worried about your work-life balance, like how are you gonna fit a relationship into your life if one were to show up, and like kind of the disharmony that it would, um, because now you feel like you kind of like got everything together and you're like juggling everything adequately and you're kind of afraid that if um, things were to change in the area of love that all of a sudden, you know, your your balance that you're trying to achieve, especially with like New Year's resolutions and stuff, um, these new routines that you're implementing would maybe go a little bit haywire. Um, but they're saying this is a lie that you're telling yourself. So try not to think that way. <laughs> what have you already learned in love last year and years previous that will affect you? Um, and that not all relationships are meant to last forever. Now certain people are supposed to be in our life to teach us certain lessons so that we're ready to welcome love in. Um, but oftentimes, you know, like uh, divorces can be actually for the best thing. You're learning how to love yourself and what you have to offer in a relationship and that what you deserve. So good for you because that's a really important lesson to learn. And then you're also learning to kind of avoid drama just to walk away from things that don't serve you. So that's fantastic. Are you ready for love? in the month of January. And they say, um, here's the deal. You're acting like you're not ready because you're sending some sort of a message out to the universe that you don't want it right now, okay? Um, but they're saying emotionally though, based on the lessons that you've learned, you are in a good place. It seems like it's more of a convenience factor. Like you just, if you're saying things to yourself like, I don't have the time, you know, I don't have the time to go to the grocery store, or I don't have the time to go to the gym, or I don't have the time for this, and I don't have the time for that, um, what you're putting out to the world, to the universe, to God, Allah, Spirit, whatever, is that um, you also don't have time to receive a new relationship or love from your partner if you are already coupled. Because this reading is for both singles and couples. Um, what kind of subconscious energies are going to come up in the month of January that you'll need to work through? And they say, um, this need for rest. You might feel fatigued this month, and that's because you're going through some, like, thought-provoking challenges and things like that. You might be up in your head a lot, and actually what happens is we do require more sleep as we're healing. Um, that's when our angels get to work on us, and they're kind of like, pushing things through. That's why we also have very vivid dreams. So allow yourself the time to rest. They say, take it easy. You don't have to get out there and start new things. Um, and know that you might start to feel a little bit lonely if you cannot shift this um, attitude saying that you're like, that you can fit love into your life. Because some of you are trying to probably manifest love into your life. You're saying, these are the things I want in a partner. And you know, you're, making positive affirmations, like I'm ready to receive love, but then you're sending an opposite message out, like when you're saying, oh, I don't have time for this, or I'm always running late, or I never get things done. So um, it's a mixed message or signal to the universe, and the universe is obedient, like right? Like it just brings you what you are putting out there. You're attracting what you say and what you believe and feel. Okay, so what are your current blocks, and how are we gonna get past those? They say, um, <laughs> they're, they're like, we want to be really clear. We're not lying to you about that block that we mentioned about, um, saying that you have the time and that you're actually ready to receive it. So they say you are ready to receive it. Um, you, it's just a mindset that you've adopted that's inaccurate. 
They say you don't have to make any decisions about how it comes into your life, when it's going to come into your life, how you're going to make it work. It will just work because it's supposed to. That's divine timing. That's the universal force and the energy. Like thing, If you can kind of just like let go and go with the flow, everything will work out the way it's supposed to. Okay. Um, how can you ready your heart for love? So they're like, think about long term, where do you want to be in a love relationship? Like when you're old and gray, what kind of a person is it that you want to be with? Um, where do you want to be financially? Where do you want to live? That kind of a thing. Um, how can you ready your mind for love? And you know what? I want to go back and say this too. When you're thinking about these things that you want to manifest or bring into your life or, you know, your hashtag relationship goals um, with your current partner or with your future partner, the one you haven't met yet, or maybe you're just starting to talk to um, feel the love and joy is although you already had those because that's what's going to attract it in. Okay, so how to rem how to ready your mind for love? And they're like, you know, you don't need to have. I and it's interesting because I it's hard to keep all of the signs straight. But um, every once in a while we get a message in a love reading that says, hey, um, if you want to attract someone who has their shit together, get your shit together first. Right. And what this message is saying is kind of the opposite. They're saying you're never going to be 100 percent perfect and ready because humans are not perfect. OK, so where you're at is good enough to draw in the partner that you want. You might they might come in a little bit more with their shit together than you are, but maybe they can help you or vice versa. OK, um, what can you do to ready your spirit for love? They say stop being defensive, stop having those walls up and making those excuses as to why love isn't coming. Um, they say also don't just take lovers for the sexual thrill of it this month. Sometimes we're supposed to do that actually, believe it or not, for those of you who are religious and like, I mean, I'm pretty religious. I don't want to have sex before marriage, um, but some people like they kind of need that to experiment and see what they actually want. Um, so no judgment there, but they're saying this is not the month to kind of do that unless you're certain that this is what you want. And then they're just reminding you, um, again, that same mental energy of like, you're never going to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect before somebody comes in. Okay. What's a positive thing that you can do this month to, um, find a partner or to increase the love that you have with your current partner? Oh my goodness. So. They're like, absolutely don't worry about things. Try to clear any anxiety you have about the relationship and the trajectory of it. They say, think about what makes you happy. What is your happily ever after? Think about that in terms of feelings. Um, think about that in terms of like physical affection as well. Like how much time do you want to spend cuddling? Um, are you maybe not even a cuddler? That sort of a thing. They want you to think about what um, a really happy, healthy relationship looks like to you and start envisioning that so that you are drawing it in. They say um, if you are wanting new love or if you want to fall in love again, that this is an excellent month for that. You could be overflowing with love by the time that January ends, um, but you have to really trust that the universe is bringing that in for you. Now, I want to shift... Um, card decks here and we're going to talk about some positive affirmations you can do and the theme is routine. Okay. So they're saying like having a good morning routine is going to be really good for you. And remember, this is what we were talking about. Some of you probably made some New Year's resolutions where you're like, okay, th these are the things I want to do. I want to set these routines. I want to establish these goals. And um, by doing so, like you're afraid that someone's going to come in and upset those. They're like, keep doing that. Keep doing it, um, and the universe will work it out how they fit into your life for you, okay? Don't worry about it. So your affirmations are, I'm focused and I'm empowered. My breath is energizing my body and exhaling any tension I feel. So this is a really good exercise. I like to um, close my eyes and breathe in white light, and it, I imagine it kind of like coming through my crown chakra, pushing any negative energy out through my feet. Um, and then once I can get the white energy all the way through, because sometimes you might feel stuck in your shoulder. It might feel stuck at your throat chakra. Just keep pushing that light through it. As you breathe in white light, 
um, and exhaling out your feet, any darker energies, blacks and grays and things like that. And when the white light gets to the bottom of your feet, you're going to um, kind of surround yourself like a bubble um, of white light love energy. Okay, another affirmation. I'm in the moment and can clear my mind of all thoughts. And then the outside world can wait for now as you're doing that. I like to do this particularly before I go to bed because I'm already laying flat. Um, and then I just kind of imagine it going into the ground from my feet or maybe from my root chakra, your booty. So I hope you found that helpful. Best of luck in love this month. And um, for those of you who are wondering what deck I was using, this is the Line Strider Tarot. So um, can't wait to see you next month. Bye.